Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna be messing around with um, oh, a little bit about folding at home and uh, moving a graphics card from this awesome Lenovo SR650 and into the ASUS server in the second living room the one that has room for four GPUs uh, mostly because this one is bloody noisy as soon as it uh, does anything you just start folding at home here I've had it off it's just too noisy so when it's on I can't really speak out here in the data center because the server will ramp up the fans to a level where um, well, um, I'm yelling I'm already speaking loud to uh, to remove some of the noise in the background but well at that point it's it's just too noisy yeah it just took a little bit and um, the noise is back and um, it doesn't sound healthy and it has a nasty orange exclamation mark here so I'm gonna take that Nvidia Tesla K80 card out of there and we're gonna put it in the Asus server in there um, let's stop this again it's noisy I don't know how long it's gonna take for it to go down in speed again but yeah it's a nasty high pitched sound I don't mind a little bit of noise but well this one is bad so noise level is going down now it doesn't take long but well folding at home it does it all the time and it gets um, irritating so yeah thank you if you're still joining me at folding at home I see that there are still 90 people folding with me we are at present recording time number 107 in the world so I hope um, maybe a few guys want to join in and help me get to uh, top 100 that would be awesome just needs a little push to get there and I need to put in a little bit more of an effort myself well and you can be sure that if you want to shut down a Windows server there is at least an hour's worth of updates before you can um, do so so uh, yeah <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah wonderful so when we were messing with this we put in the Tesla K80 and we put in this uh, mining card P106-090 uh, these were very cheap at some point but now that the Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency is has exploded again they are worth a decent amount of money I'm not gonna sell it but it, yeah it's funny how that goes let's try and take this out again and the uh, Lenovo X650 it has a special power connector um, the, the connector on the system board is smaller than usual so um, I'm just gonna leave this cable in here uh, am I? no no let's put it back in the box see that's the normal 8 pin and that's the tiny 8 pin that they have put in here I don't see why they have to um, they really didn't have to do that I'm gonna leave the other card in there and see if it makes the same amount of noise but we're just gonna take this one out It looks very nice and I found some of these brackets so, uh, to restrict the airflow just a little bit so I'm gonna put this back in not saying that we're not going in there soon again we might find something else interesting to put in there so let's see what we have here I haven't even screwed on the lead I knew I was going back to this so we have the other Tesla K80 right there and so this one is going over here but unfortunately it has to go like that uh, which is sad because this looks really good but yeah that's how it is I put this in and I did a ninja trick on the cable um, this is the cable that comes with the K80 card and one end is a normal 8 pin connection which is this end and the other one is an 8 pin EPS 12 volt connection there is a difference you can see there is four yellow wires and they are all on these pins here and then all the black wires are on these pin where a normal 8 pin connection 
uh, you have three yellow wires on these three pins and then there are black connections on the rest of them so they swap around the connections a little bit so uh, that is dangerous I made a ninja hack and got away with it and that is actually the cable that is right here so I connected this in a different way because I ordered a real um, dual 8 pin to one EPS connection so uh, you take two 8 pin connections and they are converted into one of these connections this is a well this is rated for 300 watts and each of these are rated for about 150 watts and I really don't see how that adds up it should be the same amount but so I connected this graphics card that way uh, with those cables and I have this ninja hack cable sticking out of there I have even marked that with some red tape uh, so what should we connect it with over here hmm. let's take this up there. it has these weird blocks here I'm not totally sure what the grand idea was with that but here we can see the connections down here there are two connections can we see that one here and one down here behind it and each of them is meant for a graphics card over here well actually it could do four graphics cards because each of these cables looks like this that one goes down to that system board and then it's divided into an eight pin and a six plus two pin so um, this is also an eight pin EPS connection that goes down to uh, to the connector but the layout is different it's made as an, a normal 8-pin connection but the coding on here makes it so that a regular 8-pin connection can't go down into that block which is weird as heck so let's see if we can can fit that graphics card oh there's those tiny screws again I guess I have to share with you that I don't like those very much that has kind of become a tradition um, on the other card uh, I didn't remove it comes with a bracket that is supposed to sit here but um, I removed it on this card for it to fit inside the x3650 model 5 I see, ah now I see I think these could be mounted there yeah look at that okay so you can put the screws in there and they line up and the can we're gonna do that that is neat okay I take it back nice I took this one off I think we should take this uh, converter cable and put that on right away I'm gonna get rid of this I don't know maybe someone needs that for something if you want to search for these uh, they were a bit too expensive for what they do but if you need them you need them so we're gonna try and convert our cable here which I see is a dual dual six pin There, we put that in one of the connections. Ah. Oh, <laughs> suddenly it just flew in there. Weird as heck. Okay, and the other one. Um, it, this is not gonna get the the best system of the year award. So all of these tools are most definitely not there just because this connection is a piece of crap that didn't fit anywhere. No, 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 no. There was some other reason, I'm sure. <clears throat> so I just took the cable out. It looks like this now. So yeah, it's uh, it's a weird one. So let's mount this uh, bracket on the back. I. Uh, I did not see this solution coming. Oh, it's, this is interesting. Place that some, somewhere, somehow, so we can see it. Can we do that? Let's see if we can get that on there and hit that one. It should be fairly easy. Oh. 
Nice. So, I'll put the put the cable in. Gonna stick that out the back. Easier said than done. There. It's not a great place to have the cables, they're gonna obstruct the airflow, but right now I think it has to be so, otherwise it's not it's not gonna go down there quietly. That was better. It's in. Gonna fasten it with those two tiny screws and then pull the cable out of there so that it doesn't abstract as much. And let's see if we can fish that out of there. There, better. And then it has to go over here and I need to put that connection in first, otherwise there will be absolutely no space for it for me to do so. There, that was better. The other one was a drag. Yeah, there's really no room for these cables over here. That's, I think we need, we need the other cable. The one that is not in use to go underneath. To be, just to be out of the blotchy way. It would probably have been better if I put this cable in. It wouldn't take up as much space and be as much of an obstacle. I cheated and I did that instead. Just that one single cable coming out of there instead of that mingled mess. Um, yeah, it uh, it makes kind of a different uh, difference in uh, in airflow, I'm sure. And um, yeah, I kind of. I think I'm just gonna leave the cable there then they are gonna take up some some room underneath here so that the airflow has to go through the graphics card Less of a mess here. Let's see, we need we need that hard drop in there to boot on. It's probably gonna be noisy. But to be quite honest, this noise is not as bad as the uh, Lenovo noise. This is a deeper noise. It's not that high pitch noise. Okay, server is booted and uh, server 2019 has started up. But I see that I have a problem here. It only sees two NVIDIA Tesla K80s. And as these cards pop up two times each because they have uh, two CPUs or two GPUs, I am missing one. So I'll have to go um, I'll have to go back in, see what's going on. Okay, I reseated the connection. Actually replaced this cable from the first GPU, the one that we haven't messed with. And uh, you can probably hear that the server is winding up in speed because um, it is um, turning on folding at home right away. So let's just see what that is doing. There, we have 20 cores from the CPU. And then we have four GPU cores running here. Uh, that's not correct. We'll let it run a little bit, see what numbers we get. So I'm yelling on top of this. We can see that this GPU uses about 145 to, to 150 watts. And there are four of those. So next one. Oh, which was the same one, sorry first one 
about the same. So each of these cards uh, is drawing about 300 watts, just below 300 watts. So it's um, a hungry bugger. Yeah. And the numbers has become better in here. 350,000 points a day. 378,000 points. 393 and 392 and the CPU is making 63,000 so all of that combined is about 1.5 million points per day on this server but it's noisy and it uses a lot of power here is my trusty power meter and let's wait for it 1,000 uh, well just about 1,000 watts that's a lot okay so we just moved out of the second living room it is a bit noisy in there and I am I'm yelling but the noise that it makes this server is far better than the Lenovo SR650 which is a high pitched noise which really gets on your nerves so uh, this is way better this server was graciously donated to me from bargain hardware if you use the coupon code MYPLAYHOUSE when you shop at Bargain Hardware, you get 5% off. Just thought that I would mention that again, 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 again. And uh, otherwise, please remember to give this video a little like. We did get something up and running. Even though that cable was really messing with me, I didn't film all of it, but I had the server on and off three times before I figured out that the cable was, well, messing with me. So. Um, yeah, we could just see. I bought two of these cables. Uh, and this one was messing with me. When I replaced that with the one that I actually put together in this video, it worked. So, yeah. <laughs> we did get something to work. So, uh, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye-bye.